What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching Rage Nation Mail. Rage Nation Mail is the web series where I open up the mail from the Rage Nation. We're going to start off with a letter from Marvin. And Marvin is from New Jersey. So let's just check out what he has to say because um, I think that he has something very important to tell me. All right. So let's just check this out and see what's up. Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Wow, two sides. Hello Alex, how's it been dude? It's almost Christmas shopping time. Are you ready? I'm glad that I saw myself on the Thank You Michael Bay video you made. I also bought TF4 in 3D with my Sony 3D TV. There are some questions I'd like to ask you bro. One, do you think Sam and Cade will ever meet? Meeting in TF5 or TF6, Cade will need some more human help making Shia LaBeouf a supporting character. Two, do you think in TF5 all fights should take place in space or China and space? Three, do you like G1 Grimlock or movie Grimlock? Four, did you notice any other animes in China besides Pikachu? Okay, as for number one, Sam and Cade will never, never, ever meet, all right? Uh, I don't think that is the direction that um, Hasbro or Paramount want to go with. I think they want to go with um, what they've been doing uh, with uh, Age of Extinction, and that is bring all new, bring a new life to the franchise. Okay, so I don't think that's ever going to happen if they keep on bringing back, um, I guess, uh, old, you know, old old, old flames. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, as for um, the TF5 fights, if it should be in space or China, um, you know what? I think that it's not going to actually take place in China, but the, some of the film will still take place in China. But it, I think that they're exploring, and by they, once again, I, I'm, I'm, I mean a Paramount and Hasbro and the writers, they're exploring the idea of having fights take place either on space or on a different planet. So it's possible, uh, but I don't see um, I don't see another battle taking place in China again. All right. As for the third question, uh, G1 Grimlock or Movie Grimlock? Definitely G1 Grimlock, mainly because uh, Movie Grimlock was personalityless. Like he was soulless. He was brainless. He doesn't have a whole lot of depth to the character. Uh, he looks cool. He provides a lot of destruction, but other than that, uh, we don't know a whole lot about this character. At least in G1, he had personality, okay? And that was a, a very um, dumb personality, but still, it is what we, that is what we loved about G1, movie, uh, G1 Grimlock, all right? As for your fourth question, do I notice any other animes uh, in China besides Pikachu? Nope. <laughs> End of Transformers letter. P.S. I'm getting my driver's license soon for Crosshairs or B. Happy Thanksgiving. Eat a lot. Okay. Flip, please. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is doing well, but let's not forget this is all before Avengers 2. I'm pretty sure Loki will begin uh, the end credits of it. Did you know there are new superheroes coming to Netflix next year? Daredevil, uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and last, my favorite. Favorite Iron Fist, all possibly in and protecting New York to later become the Defenders. Yes, I knew they were coming out, and uh, I am only interested in Daredevil. I think the Daredevil character is actually uh, very, very interesting, and I thought that uh, the Ben Affleck Daredevil was actually a decent film. I don't think it was great, but it was decent, and I would have loved for the Daredevil um, character to actually come into a, a, a film version of itself. But uh, it's going to be out in Netflix instead, all right? I hope Spider-Man joins the Avengers in Phase 4 or becomes part of the phase. If the Sinister Six were to happen, then I think Spidey should lose, then return for the third one. What Marvel film are you are you forward to from 20, looking forward to from 2016 to 2019? Oh, there's a lot of Marvel films coming out. But I got to say that, uh, man, it, it's got to be... It's got to be uh, Captain America Civil War because it's it's uh, not an Avengers movie, which I love the Avengers films, but it's not an Avengers movie. It is a Captain America film uh, that has uh, Iron Man in it and also introduces Black Panther. That in itself is freaking awesome. And of course, it has a great supporting character that I really, really fell in love with, and that is Falcon. I want to see more of Falcon. We're going to see more of Falcon in Captain America Civil War. All right. Uh, mine is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Did you know the Inhumans were on uh, Hulk Agents of Smash? 
Uh, the leader's name is Maximus, who doesn't speak because that's his ultimate move. And there's a big bulldog named Lockjaw. They own it, just teleports. Uh, thanks to Disney XD, I am able to know more of the characters before the films. They currently have Avengers fighting Thanos, Spidey traveling through other dimensions, and Hulk fighting cosmic threats in space. Who's your favorite Marvel superhero and villain? Mine is Iron Man and Spidey and Winter Soldier or Electro. Lastly, a Guardians of the Galaxy show coming in Spring 15. Buying that cassette tape and headphones just like Star-Lord. Best wishes, Alex. Enjoy well anything Marvin Jacobs. Well, my favorite's got to be Iron Man and my favorite villain um wow let me let me think for a bit my favorite villain i gotta say it's loki i really enjoy his personality all right uh, tom hiddleston does a great job uh with the performance so therefore i i like loki and ch wow check out this artwork uh miles morales the ultimate spider-man check that out here is miles morales and uh this is his the his version of spider-man and uh, here are the cassette, or rather the Walkman and the headphones. And come and get your love. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot Marvin for your letter. I really appreciate you taking the time to write to me. And um, hope uh, you are uh, going to be um, watching more of my videos. Of course you are. You are part of the Raging Nation. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out this letter from Ohio. Um, it doesn't have uh, anything else other than the city that it is from. And uh, once again, I'm sure there's something very, very significant in here. So we're going to check out the letter first. Okay. How do you open this? Uh, here we go. Hey Alex, my name is Chase and I am 11 soon. I'm going to be 12. Well, it depends when you are reading this. I will be 12 in March. You are so funny. I watch your videos. I will be getting the wave to Bumblebee. By the way, who is your favorite Autobot? Mine is Grimlock. I think you are cool. Keep up the videos. P.S. Transformers rock. My favorite Autobot is Sideswipe. All right, and there you have it. Uh, thanks a lot for your letter, Chase. Let me see what you have. Oh, Optimus. This is the front view of Optimus, G1 style, of course. Side view of Optimus, check that out. And of course, the robot mode of Optimus. Very, very awesome. Fan art, you did a good job with uh, drawing um, G1 Optimus, both in his robot and car mode. So good job, Chase. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to write me a letter and draw me Optimus. The last letter comes from Christian, who is from LA, and we are gonna look at what he has in store for me. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Okay, let's start off with the letter. This one appears to be tight. Yes, it is. Dear Alex, I'm a subscriber of your. I'm a subscriber of yours. I'm a huge fan of your videos, and I am also a huge Transformers fan. I encourage you to make more and more awesome videos and keep bringing us updates on Transformers Five. My favorite two movies of the Transformers series are Dark of the Moon and Age of Extinction. I would like to know what your favorite two favorites are. My YouTube username is Bumblebot2000. Sincerely, Christian. P.S. Enjoy the drawing of the head of Megatron that comes with this letter. My favorites would be the first Transformers, and the second favorite would be Age of Extinction. The very first Transformers that came out in 2007 was awesome, because nobody knew what to expect. I, I don't even think anybody could really like grasp the idea of photorealistic robots transforming into vehicles and what the action would be like. Nobody knew what to expect and anything that we saw was awesome and it ended up being awesome, at least in my eyes. So the first one would be the best for me. The second best one would be Age of Extinction, mainly because after seeing like the other sequels, Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon, the one thing that we wanted to see more of is, of course, robot screen time. I feel that Age of Extinction has the most robot screen time. We ended up having a great villain. We ended up getting Dinobots. And we ended up with some really amazing action sequences. All right, so Transformers and Age of Extinction. Here's Megatron. Check that out. That looks like the Transformers animated Megatron. And you did a good job drawing the head of Megatron. Once again, thank you very much to everybody. Chris. 
Christian and Marvin and Chase. You guys are awesome for contributing to Rage Nation Mail. We'll keep on having we will keep on having these episodes as long as you guys are sending me letters. And of course, we will have more stuff to talk about in the world of Transformers. Stay tuned for the next video because we are going to talk about the very last thing I got to mention about Transformers Age of Extinction. Then afterwards, we're going to move on to toy reviews and also Transformers 5 and of course, Anticipation for Transformers Robots in Disguise, which is a series that is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alexi. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Or Decepticon. So that was really exciting. And of course, they announced the Dinobots. <laughs> Excuse me. They announced the Dinobots. And of course, then that's when we went 